All right. So. Yeah, I was tracked him. Okay, so we got that. So let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Do we go for Koba? Because this one we're going to save for last because we know that this is basically the shining beacon in this one. This one right here. This is going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be huge. I can tell that. Uh, we're not going to go for Koba yet. We're going to check out uh, because we basically didn't really see Koba at all. If we saw, we saw Aryu. But obviously, it's not going to be Aryu. It's going to be from the point of view from Koba. And we haven't seen Koba that much with Yuna. A little bit, but not, not, not as much as we did with the other ones. Right? I think. Yeah, it's mostly the track team. So, yeah. Let's check out Aihara Senpai and um, Sono. Because we know that Sono, you know, got sick at the end. So, going to see how, I, uh, how Tsurugimine um, attends to her needs. And I, obviously, I said Aihara, I think. Aihara Senpai is someone that we obviously didn't get to see during the summer camp because they weren't there. But they went on a date, Miki and Maki. So, kind of interesting to see how that fared out. Maybe we get a little bit more explanation the next month then. The summer camp started today. There was no schedule I needed to worry about. So, I arrived at the school a little later than usual. The moment I entered the math club room, I regretted that. Oh, Tsurumi, Tsurugi Minasan, good morning. Wah, Tsuyuko-chan. Sweatshirt, t-shirt, leggings. Oh, that's right. Holy crap, what's go what's going on? What do you mean? I don't have classes and it's uh, and it's hot, so I thought it'd be better to wear something comfortable. Oh, last summer you were work you were wearing work clothes though. Yeah, but it's fun, isn't it? I thought informal would be okay this year. Inform oh yeah. Mm, do you think it's too casual? Do I not look like a teacher? No, it's cute. It's really good. I'm really excited now. Whoa! Wait, Tsurugi Minasan, you're not going to hug me again, are you? Oh, <laughs> Phew. It's over. You know, Tsuyu chan I'm not always drooling over you. <laughs> no, you looked like you were getting ready to pounce just then. I mean it. I've become a bit more of an adult. <laughs> an adult, huh? That's right, an adult. I've got to be a, a bit more of an adult. I want to go out with tsuyuko chan as a composed adult, though we're already going out. Right, so Yuga-chan and I are in a relationship now. I confessed to her twice and finally won her over. Now I have to be enough of an adult that I'm a match for Tsuyuka-chan, who's so small, but an adult and a teacher too. You're still a student. There is no need to rush it so, so much. That won't, that, that won't do, Tsuyuka-chan. I want to hurry and be an adult good enough that I could... <laughs> that I could make you my wife and not just leech off of you. <laughs> Wife, that's right. If I make Tsuyuko-chan my wife, I can just see this glorious sight every day. Oh, I can't take this. What's wrong, tsuyuko chan Your face is bright red. Sorry, all the blood rushed to my head, I guess. Jeez, what's with you? Well, can you blame me? When I get home from work, Tsuyuko-chan's there to greet me, you know? In my head, at least. You're such a child. Don't get too excited on the first day just because you're looking forward to the camp. Eh... I didn't want to hear something like that. Okay, Tsurugi Minasan. Call me cutie. Uh, but we're at school. You said you'd call me that when we were alone. Kitty. Oh. <laughs> Come on, calm down. This isn't good. I've got, <laughs> I've got to cool off. This might be bad. I'm going to be together for the whole camp with tsuyuko -chan. This cute. I need to be composed enough to grab her and hug her and push her down and just do it right there. <laughs> to make this sense and me. Seriously, calm down, me. Ah, Kitty's, Kitty's amazing. I fucking love her. <sighs> anyway. I'll help you with your working during the camp, Tsuyuko chan Just tell me what to do. <laughs> She's just so genuine. I love that. Alright, just do what you can, though. You don't need to push yourself too hard, alright? That's my line. You shouldn't push yourself too hard, Tsuyuko chan You'll get a fever in no time. I'll be fine. <laughs> that, that's interesting. I'll be fine. I'll make sure that doesn't happen this year. Doing a good job with that, huh? Really? But I really don't want Tsuyuko chan to get a fever and collapse, I, and I think and I think I'll be able to help a lot more than I did last year. After all, it's for Tsuyuko chan I'll do my best. And I'll do it with an adult's composure, of course. Yeah, good luck with that. So what should I help with first? Let's see. Tsuyuko chan turned to the desk behind her, making a slightly cute, slightly troubled face. The desk was stacked with printouts and folders. No, oh, sorry. Folders. A single glance made it clear that the work was already piling up. Which should we start with? 
Wow, my composure might crack at this rate. Why? <laughs> Excuse me, are you here, Sono Sensei? I heard you were in this room. Oh yes, what is it? Oh, Adia son. Adia is also pretty cool. Have you heard? Have we, <laughs> have we heard her voice yet? From Adia? I don't think we did. Might be interesting though. Did we? I'm not entirely sure. We heard a knock on the door and... We heard a knock and the door opened. I got a really bad feeling the moment I heard that someone had business with Tsuyuko-chan. That, that Tsuyuko-chan might get even more work. <clears throat> Honestly, the work we have on one day seems like enough and any more and I might burst. I'm the disciplinary committee member here during the camp and in charge of remedial lessons. I came for a little meeting, but... Are you in the middle of something? Yeah, we are. Adria-san, who's in my class, had... Ah, that's why. Had come into the club room. I haven't talked with her much before, but I mean, she's kind of scary. <laughs> I knew she was just in a disciplinary committee already, but in charge just kind of fits her, doesn't it? As you can see, Adria-san, Tsuyuko-chan and I are busy being buried under a pile of work here. Half of this is for the teacher in charge of the summer camp, and the other half is for the advisor of the school festival committee. All of it is Tsuyuko-chan's work. I don't, I don't get why they are, why they only like assigned one teacher to both of those rule, both of those roles. Yeah, Tsuyuko-chan, why would you accept both of these jobs? They say young, energetic people should do the stuff, and Tsuyuko-chan is young, but she's not built as sturdy, you know. That's fine. Thanks for coming all the way over here. Come to think of it, you're in the same class as I do, son, right, Tsurugimine-san? Ah, uh, our alone time is over. You, are, you could ex. Ex accidentally call me Kiri, couldn't you, Tsuyuko-chan? Ah, and you're in the math club, tsurugi san that's right. Yeah, Tsuyuko-chan's the advisor. I see, that, that explains why you weren't in the faculty room, Sono-sensei. Sorry about that, I have, to, I have so much to do that the faculty room is a little too cramped for it. It's alright. Does the math club have space for its activities, though? It's fine, I'm only here at the summer camp to have Tsuyuko-chan anyway. So you can give me... <laughs> so can you give me back my alone time with her, Ariyo-san? I see. So you wanted to have a meeting, Ariyo-san? Yes, the disciplinary, disciplinary committee isn't participating in the camp, so I'm only going to be here during the day. You'll have to take over at night. Okay, even more work. Uh, they are talking about something complicated now. It's Tsuyuko-chan's job, though, so I guess I'll have to live with it. All I can do is file the festival stand information from last year like Tsuyuko-chan asked me to do. Why from last year? It's not as if I can stand in for Tsuyuko-chan. I just have to do what she asked me to. So I thought. Then I'll take over at 5 p.m. every day. Right, now about the classroom we're using for remedial lessons. Lessons. But I was still a little jealous of Arya-san while she talked to Tsuyuko-chan. Ah, that's why they were a little bit feisty also when Yuna came in. And actually, you know, eased the mood afterwards with it. With her being there. That's getting cramped up in here too, by the way. Jesus Christ. So we have Summer Camp Task Force H Quarter number two. Nice. Liggity, let's see. Alright, that's all of them. Wah. It's the second day of the camp. The clubs are really getting their activities started now. And the Camp Task Force, Summer Headqua summer Camp Headquarters, whatever, the club room Tsuyuko-chan always uses has gotten really busy. Like, I think we're already in the realm of crazy busy. I'm starting to think this isn't really that much work after all. Well, it isn't really. Adria-san had just carried in a freshly printed stack of papers. They were still so warm that I could feel the heat on my face. We put these together, fold them, staple them, then we're done. And how many are we making? Well, I printed 120 to start with. That many? It's not that much. So you say, it might not be that much to you, but... If you're wondering why Adiyo-san is here, I would say it's because she has free time. I mean, she's here at the school because she's on the disciplinary committee, but and so she's not really free, but once she confirms that everyone who's supposed to be in makeup classes is actually free, she doesn't have a lot to do. So she's helping us since she checked in on us yesterday and thought we could use the help. How dare you get in the way of my alone time with Tsuyuko-chan, villain? <laughs> Is what I'd like to say, but she's actually a huge help. I mean, we spent the whole day yesterday just organizing the work we, ha we have to do. Geez, Tsuyuko-chan, you're taking on way too much. 
The fact is, the desk is buried under all sorts of documents and files, not even counting the prints out we're making. You can't even see the chairs on the other side past all of it. Please no more work, this is enough, I pleaded, I pleaded to myself. Hello, whoa. Who is it this time? It's like every time the every time the door into the club room opens, someone brings us brings us more to do. So it's like I don't want anyone to come in anymore. That is, I don't want more work. But the door remains heartlessly open. Who is it? Who showed up? I can't even see the door from this side of Mount Printout. <laughs> oh yes, who is it? Atsuyukatan, don't answer, don't ask what they need. My thoughts spilled out of my mouth before I realized. What? Wait a second. You can come in right now. I can't handle any more. I don't know what to do. I almost grabbed Tsuyukatan's hand when she started to stand up next to me. I'll see what she needs, Sono-sensei. Keep doing what you're doing, you two. Uh, okay, thank you, Arya-san. Please, Arya-san, if this girl has work for us, keep her away. Tsuyukatan, what do I do with this? I prayed to Arya-san I... As I asked Tsuyuka-chan about the pile of printouts looming over me. Let's see your name and what you need. Ah, Arya sounds pretty cool at times. Like this. Hopefully she'll use that scary hour of hers to get rid of our visitor. I don't need anything, but... I see, well then, you can, as you can probably tell, we're quite busy at the, at the moment. Please come back later if you don't have anything urgent. Ah, uh, that's not it, um... You're Arya san right? Right, and you? I'm sorry, I'm Tomi Yuna. I've heard your name from Yuka, so... Oh, Tomi-san. She's here at the camp? From Yuka. And Yuka, that funny girl I was in class with last year, she's kind of big, so I wouldn't really call her cute, but she's pretty amusing. That's for sure. We kind of get along since, like... <clears throat> since it's like we're both just coasting through life and we ended up as friends. We're in different classes now in, in second year, but we still talk sometimes. Ah, so Yuka knows Adiyo-san. Well... She was late, uh, late all the time. I guess it's not that weird that she had known someone from the disciplinary committee. But more importantly, what am I supposed to do about all these seriously? I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Gotta make all these handouts. Yeah, we were in the same class in middle school. We still talk from time to time. I see, but as I said, we're, uh, at, we're a bit busy at the moment. Please come back later if you're just here to talk. Ah, uh, sorry, I brought some refreshments. I figured maybe you could use some lunch. Refreshments. <laughs> I thought, I, th I thought I felt my stomach rumble in reply to that word. It didn't, right? Yeah, since I'm participating in the camp as the cook for the track team, uh, the advisor for the track team told told me you guys were a little busy over here. Ah, uh, Tomi-san, refreshments, what? I couldn't help shooting up from my chair and asking. Oh, she's not with that her her cutely and girl day. <laughs> no way, food. Just some onigiri and things. Yeah, yeah, I was getting I, I was getting hungry. We've been so busy I didn't even have time to get to go get breakfast. Really, I'm glad I can help. Oh, so what are you doing here, Arya son? I'm in charge of the disciplinary committee matters at the camp. It's convenient for me to be to be here and I couldn't really leave these two alone. I see what you mean. Do you understand this tragic spectacle? Tsuka <laughs> and I have been working since this morning, but it's like like we've we've barely made a dent. For now, though, Tsuyuka chan and I are gonna have some of these onigiri Tomi-san brought. Mind if I help, too? I'm allowed to do whatever I want when I'm not on cooking duty. Really? Hey, tsuruki san we shouldn't rush to take advantage of her kindness. This is pretty hard work. Tomi-san, are you sure? Yeah, well, I was getting... Kind, I, well, I was getting a little bored. I'll help out with whatever I can. Yay! I'm sorry and thank you. This may be a really big help. Now, what should I do? Now, let's see. But I can't let this chance to gain an extra set of hands get away. I raised my hand, onigiri and all, without a moment's delay. This, this, coming up me, I'm, I'm putting together notices for the camp participants, but it's like I don't even know how many to make. Notices for the campers. Yeah, problems were already cropping up yesterday. It's rules for shower duration, cooking schedules, futon use, those sorts of things. I put together some suggestions. It was more like just giving us more work to do, though Tsuyuka-chan said it was a was a big help to have. Since it's since if someone has a question, they can turn to the notices first, I guess. But it's pointless if some people get the notice and others don't. That's why there are 120 of them after all. And when we printed them out for everyone, this happened, and I'm supposed to put them all together by myself. Well, Suno Sensei has all sorts of other works to do. I told you I'd help as well, didn't I? I know that, but I want to work with Tsuyuka-chan, not you, Arya-san. It was your idea. Shouldn't you be doing it? 
It's really supposed to be the job of the teacher in charge of the f summer camp, since they were my suggestions, I thought I'd help. Uh, you too. Jeez, ah, Arya-san's kind of stubborn, isn't she? Sigurdsson's a little troubled by this, with which is cute, but I've, though I feel kind of bad about it. And I'm glad Arya-san's gonna help, but... I understand, I'll help. We're handing these out to everyone at the camp, though. Uh, Tomi-san, what? She's gonna help? Mm, yeah. How many are there? A hundred, maybe? We're making a hundred and twenty, to be sure. Alright. Then it should take about an hour for us... For two of us to do it. First, we should move somewhere with a little more room. Huh. Will it really be over that quickly? I think we'd get in the way of Suno-sensei and arya -san's work here. If we use a classroom, we can organize the papers by page. Then we only need to put them together and stable them. That'll be easier, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess this room's kind of overflowing at this point. You can barely see the desk under all the paper. I get it. Maybe you should stay here to help Suno-sensei. Tsurugi mine san should we get this done together, arya san uh, Really? I can stay here? Tomi-san's like, seriously my guardian angel. Right, yes, that sounds good. Thanks. We should carry all the printouts for here, there first then. Could you find us an empty room on the second floor, arya san Sure. Could you help us with carrying the printouts, Tsurugi mine san Okay. Thanks. Let's get this done with. I've got to get back before lunch after all. Tomi-san said, picking up the stapler and staples lying on the desk. Uh, what? Suddenly all the works assigned? Arya-san and Tomi-san were already leaving the room. I hastily grabbed some printouts and followed them. Thank you, Tomi-san. Huh? It looks like I lost my composure there a little too. It should have been obvious that we didn't need to do everything here. Oh no, I'm sorry for being so bossy. Don't worry about it. I wanted to get this over with before lunch too. Really? That's good then. Hmm. Should I come help you guys every so, every so often? It looks like a lot to do. It would be a big help, especially if it's you, Tomi-san. The two of them went back and forth like that. Now, what, what is this? They both seem like super competent. Why do I feel like I've been left completely behind? <laughs> and the two of them seriously came back from making all those handouts in like 30 minutes. I had been helping Tsuyuka-chan out... I'd, help, I'd been helping Tsuyuka-chan out... But I was just getting back into the onigiri again when they returned. Thank you, Tomi-san. You were a big help and thank you for the snacks, too. Wow, these onig onigiri are super good. They really are. Tomi-san made these, right? So she can cook, too. Eh, sure. Arya-san and Tomi-san kept getting all sorts of things done after that. suyuko chan gave, me gave them directions while getting their own work done, too. Ah, feels like I'm stuck doing whatever falls through the cracks. I mean, suyuko chans giving me stuff to do, but... I've got to work harder, don't I? It's like a powerful advi ad adversary has appeared. If these two ever took an interest in tsuyoko I feel like I'd be in some trouble. I'll never be as efficient as them. It's hard having nothing in offer but love. <laughs> She's so wholesome. <laughs> She's amazing. You're amazing in your own way. Nothing is giving... No, no, no one is able to give someone as much love as you do. That's for ding dong, I'm sure. Summer camp, task force, H quarter three. Ah, that's when she collapses, I guess. Tsuka chan where do I take this? Oh, could you bring that to Nakashima Sensei? Let's see, she should be. I looked down on the planner I had laid out before Mia opened to August. Every cell was packed tight when the rest of the teacher's schedules... With the rest of the teacher's schedules. Nakashima-sensei was... She's not at school today, so we'll just leave it on her desk in the faculty room. Gotcha. Kitty dashed out the math club room carrying a full... The, carrying the fin finally organized pile of folders. Oh, Tsurikimi-san, don't run in the halls. Don't worry, I'm a safe driver. Driver? Safe drivers o obey the speed limit. <laughs> Good point, actually. <sighs> yeah, I'll admit I got a bit ahead of myself. I don't think <laughs> I've finally relaxed at all over the last few days, Kiri either. Every day from morning to night, I've been working in this club room as the supervisor for the summer camp and as the adv advisor for the school festival committee. In addition, Obon's coming up, so a lot of teachers are starting to take holidays. If those teachers advise clubs that are participating in the camp, it's up to me to look after the girls in the in them. I wonder how many I'm advising now. The weight of it all is really starting to get to me. And it's rough for Kiri too. 
since since she's at my side every day, I feel bad about it. But she's working so hard to help me that I've w wound up relying on her. Maybe our relationship plays a part in it. I guess I'm not holding back as much with her. Yeah, kind of helps out, I guess. And you have audio sign, and you have you know. I'm back, Nagashima Sensei wasn't there. Huh? I'm sorry. I guess she has the day off. That's weird. I wrote all the teacher schedules down on my planner. Why didn't I check it? It says right here that she's on vacation. Hey, so you're trying, what do I do next? Let's see. <laughs> I dug through my planner, notepad, and impromptu progress chart to find the next job for Kitty to do. I'm starting to get dizzy. I haven't forgotten to eat at least. The feeling I just got... I got just looking at the progress chart was proof of how much, how much more we had to do. But from the window of the club room, we could hear the energetic voices of the girls of the sports sport teams, sports teams, practicing out under the blazing sun. Inside the building too, there were many girls enjoying their club activities, and a lot of them were preparing for the school festival. When I think about that, I don't care if I collapse, I'll use up all my strength, I can stand to lose a life or two over this because I love everyone. Though I'd really rather not use up all my strength. Let's see then. Right when I thought I'd found a task, I could... Quest request of Kiri. Please wait a moment, Sensei. Arya san rose and spoke assur assertively. Uh, what is it? Do you need help with something? Arya san and Tumi san are here are hel here helping us again today. The two of them are very efficient and reliable. They go through ta task after task. I was sure Kiri and I would never finish alone. Arya san's here for the disciplinary committee, and Tumi san spending her time with us. When she isn't cooking for the track team. Oh, I'm so glad they're helping us. I should really thank them. Wait, that's not it. What does Arya san need? I believe it's time to re-examine the work we have here. Huh? What do you mean? We need to review the work we have we have and organize it a little. That and let's take a break tomorrow. What? What is Arya san saying all of a sudden? Take a break? Meaning break from work? Meaning not work tomorrow? <laughs> exactly that. Uh, do you have any other plans tomorrow, Arya san? <clears throat> That's right, she's been coming to help every day. Maybe she has something else to do. It'll kind of hurt not, ha not to have her, but there's nothing we can do about it if she has other plans. I hope she has a good time. That's not what I meant. I believe you and Sudogibine san should take a break tomorrow. T tomorrow, tomorrow, Sono Sensei. But we should. Yes, it's obvious that you two are overworking yourselves. Continuing in this matter will make your efficiency drop and you'll be more likely to make mistakes. And more importantly, if you don't rest soon, you'll both collapse. Eh. <laughs> in order to get that rest, we need rest. We need to reorganize. Eh. What? But we're finally getting into the groove. That's the worst state you've been in. If you're working on just on momentum, you're definitely going to make mistakes. Arya-san declared, I kind of agree with Kiri, but Arya-san's definitely got a point. I think some momentum is necessary to get through this amount of work, though. Sono-sensei, you worked all through Saturday too, right? Yes, but the summer camp didn't start until Wednesday. And before it started, were you on vacation? Uh, I was working. You need to take a break soon. But... I apologize, but I could, but I couldn't let it go unsaid. I'm not telling you to do your work. I'm just saying that you should take a break. It's a waste of time recovering from mistakes that could have been prevented with the rest. That's true. Right. For a student to say something like that to me, do I really look like I'm in that much trouble? Yes. Ah, hearing Arya san kind of reminds me of my student teaching supervisor. Back then I worked too hard and got a fever and she might have said the same thing. Actually, I don't think she was <clears throat> as harsh as Arya san is right now. What do you mean harsh? Someone has to say something at some point. Let's organize the work, Sono Sensei. Ah, sure. Please help me help me out if I have any questions. Right. Uh, did that sound like a little like something you'd say to a teacher? And you have, <clears throat> and if you have any work you're hiding, could you get it out too? So much for that, I guess. <clears throat> we can go over these in September, right? I suppose so. It would be better to prepare a little bit now, though. There are additional applications in September, aren't there? You have to do it all over again. I guess so. And you'll need more assistance for assistance for this one. Meaning it should also be set aside for September. Eh. 
Now thinking you might be able to get it on your own if you try. There are other students on the festival committee. There is no need for you and Tsurugi Minasan to do this, to do it all yourselves. Right. There goes all my work. As the girls went down the list, they made it very clear that we didn't need that we didn't need to be rushed now and what we were doing inefficiently. And when they sorted these tasks these, these tasks aside, it became obvious at what work we'd need to finish first. They took the whole pile of work and figured out how to divide it and how to divide it up so that it could be finished sometime today. This is kind of a shock. Arisan and Tomisan might be better suited for being teachers than I am. Really, speaking as an adult, they are re very responsible. Tomisan is really good at looking at tasks as a whole and organize the steps needed to complete them. I got what needs to be prepared first and how everything links together. I didn't even realize that those sorts of things were important until I was, I'd started teaching students. Arisan's very decisive and she's good at evaluating and figuring out the best roles for people. She doesn't need. She doesn't waste any time prioritizing things, which is the sort of thing I'd struggle with. And her reasoning is always sound. It's why when why when she seeks my agreement, all I can really do is give it. And she knows that she should be left to the other people. I have a ten ten tendency to just think of it like, well, if I work really hard. Now that the two of them did all this, this organizing, I've come to the realization that I've been increasing our workload and wasting a lot of time. When that became clear to me, I felt terrible, especially since Kiri has been helping me all the way. I sort of feel like these two are beating me as an adult, even though they are both students. No, nope, I can't feel bad. Uh, all I, I can feel bad all I want later. I should try to learn from their example for now. I think that about does it. I mean, what are you two project managers? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you and Adios son sorted through that mess like it was nothing. Look at all the work we don't have to do now. We're just putting off the work that doesn't need to be done immediately. It doesn't change the fact that it still needs to be done in September. Though you'll have other planning committee members to help you then. I see. All we need to do now is finish our assignments. We should be able to get them done today. Yeah, you're right. Then you and Sono-sensei can do this, alright? Right. That's fine, right, Sensei? Ah, uh, yes, I think it's fine. I'm sorry, you two. Please don't let it bother you. We all have our own ways of doing things, Sensei. Yeah, either organized or unorganized, <laughs> apparently. Okay, we'll do our work in the next room. We'll come ask if we have any questions. Alright, thank you. Right. So saying, Tomisan and Adiosan left the club, club room carrying their assigned folders of work. It kind of seemed like they were they took more they took more work with them than they left for us. That's probably not true though. And after they left, ah, how could I not let out a sigh? Uh, these two are really something. For a second, I thought like I'd be able to kick back if they joined uh, joined the club. Not that I've ever wanted more members before now. They really are. It's kind of depressing. Oh, it's nothing you should worry about, Suiko-chan. But I'm the teacher here, and I was causing so much trouble for Tomi-san and Adio-san. I don't think it's trouble. I should apologize to you too, Kitty. It looks like I've been making you help with a lot of pointless stuff. That's not true, Tsuyuko-chan. I'm the one who wishes. I could spend. I could support you more like these two. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm no good at all. Don't say that. You've been doing your best for me, Kitty. I could never compare you to these two. I. You know, I love you more, Kitty. Yeah, I love you when you're working hard too, Tsuyuko chan. Let's get, wor get to work then. Yeah, I suppose so. If we work hard for now, we can take a break tomorrow after all. Yep. Yeah, we should take care of the work in front of us. For Tumi-san and Aliyo-san, who are giving us a chance to rest, and for Kiri, who is working her hardest helping me. 